So here I am having a bad hair day in Vodnjan, Croatia. And I want to do a live stream with you to share with you my top three travel items. Indeed, they're items that I could not do without. Do you want to know what they are? My name is Victoria Rose and I'm now into my 10th month of traveling around Europe, around Turkey, and I am house sitting and volunteering because my mission is to show those Australian women who are over 60 and still fabulous <laughs> that they can travel and live overseas on an Australian pension. Oh, thank you so much for that. That thumbs up. Now, I don't have my heart today. So I'm just going to have to heart you like this. Uh, as I say in every single live stream, the world needs more heart. Welcome to episode 30. What are those three items that I cannot do without? Here we have item number one. It is simply the humble bobby pin. Can you see it? There we go, the humble bobby pin. Now you might think, well, it's handy when buttons come off or zips break, but there are other uses for this humble bobby pin. And I'm so glad that I brought one with me. I just threw it in at the last minute. So yes, clothing has come apart and I've had to. That's because I put on so much weight <laughs> and I've had to use the bobby pin to make sure that uh, it uh, nothing that shouldn't be shown is shown. <laughs> but what else can you use this humble bobby pin for? Well, let me tell you, because I'm traveling through so many countries and I've chosen to get a local SIM card, I did not want to have the inconvenience uh, of relying solely on Wi-Fi. It's not true. Not every single cafe in Europe offers Wi-Fi. And sometimes you're in a location where you there aren't cafes and there is not the possibility. Oh, thanks for the heart. There is not the possibility to actually uh, have a, a Wi-Fi connection, which means that you can send messages, keep in contact, do all those things. And so because I've had probably six or seven SIM cards now, it has been so useful just to undo the bobby pin. Here we go. And use this sharp end to uh, insert into my iPhone and replace it with the new SIM card. And sometimes I've had to check things out because sometimes SIM cards haven't worked too well. So there we have it. The first item I said I'd give you three. This is number one item, and that is the simple SIM card, uh, the simple SIM card, the simple bobby pin. What is item number two? Item number two is equally easy and something that perhaps not many people would have in their backpack. But here it is, it's bicarbonate of soda. Why is this important to me? It's important because <laughs> I use it to clean my teeth. Notice that my teeth are still white. I was blessed with strangely white teeth and uh, but as one ages there's no doubt that the teeth start to go a bit yellow or a bit gray and I use bicarbonate of soda to clean my teeth and when I last went to my dentist in Australia the dentist said oh that's good that's okay there's no way I'd use commercial toothpaste on my toothbrush no Way. Have you read what's in that toothpaste? I can't believe it's on the shelves. You need to be informed. But there we go. Here we have the bicarbonate soda. And I use it not only to clean my teeth. I 
use it as a deodorant. And so how simple is that? People say it's powder. How do you, by the way, it's available everywhere. How do you use this? Well, it's pretty simple. All you do is sprinkle some of this white stuff on your, a bit more than that, <laughs> on your hand. And I wet the other hand, then I bring it together, rub it, goes into sort of what's just moist powder now, and then rub it under my arms, under each armpit. And that more often than not lasts me all day. So there we have it. But what's the problem <laughs> with going through customs security with white powder in your backpack well there's a big problem because they may not believe it's actually bicarb of soda even if they taste it and they can tell it's bicarb of soda perhaps they won't taste it perhaps they'll just say yes white powder stuff this has to be drugs and they haul you off and i've just heard of an incident where someone was wanting to enter bali and became agitated because their passport was taken away just to be checked and that person reacted in a manner that was interpreted as aggressive which had an unfortunate outcome for them so here's the here's the outcome yes Bicarb of soda is cheap, it does the job, guess what? You can even wash your clothes in it to get them looking whiter. So, bicarb of soda, teeth under the arm, wash the clothes because they can get a bit grey with all this water. A lot of the water in these countries is full of lime, is full of calcium and um, yes, it can damage your clothes or at least make them look not white so you have to look after it but don't take it through immigration do not do that because it's not worth it it's not a lot of money to buy and i just keep buying it i found it so far in every single country we're looking at italy turkey france spain albania and Croatia and now I'm back in Croatia and I soon in just a few days time I'll be traveling to the UK and I absolutely know I'll be able to get by carb of soda there so there are two things the first thing was the humble bobby pin uh, three really important uses but I didn't tell you the third use did I well <clears throat> Do you remember the story about my backpack and how I left it, left it at a bus stop in Seville? And then miraculously, I got my backpack back intact with the computer, in, with the makeup that was in there and all the things that were in my backpack. I got everything back, nothing was touched. So what's the third use for the bobby pin? This pack I bought in uh, Kalkan. Or was it cash? I bought this in Turkey. But there's a problem with all the use. Look what happened. The, um, the thing that helps me to unzip uh, has just broken. Like this one here. See how we've got this leather thing? Well, that has broken off the zip. But I have no fear. <laughs> I just used my bobby pin. And now I can zip and unzip my backpack and keep using it that has to be a bonus so the first thing was the bobby pin the second thing was using the bicarb of soda three uses for the bicarb of soda so what's the third thing i think those of you that have been following me know that i love my coffee and i've been rating all of the countries that i've traveled through uh, to find out uh, what is the best coffee and uh France is still at 0 0.5. <laughs> That's how bad the coffee is in France. All the French people that I've met have said, no way, you've just gone to the wrong places. But I somehow don't think that's right. So the third thing that I want to share with you is my, it's called an AeroPress. Now, hey, oh, thank you, Saz. Thank you very much, Sarah. That's fabulous. So the third thing is my AeroPress. Now, 
because i love my coffee and i've been in places where i have not enjoyed that coffee i love my coffee it's it's an experience for me one of my friends or new friends in turkey a british expat said victoria try the coffee from this aeropress and when i did i went oh that is so good and do you know how simple this is so all it is <clears throat> is you have these parts here now you get these filters so here's the filter you get a whole pack of those you pop the filter in the bottom here and then you screw that onto the bottom of this part then you sit this part over your coffee mug and then up the top here you actually put in your coffee is that right wait a second yes yes it's right okay so you put your coffee in the top here and then you boil your water and you pour the water in and when you have poured the water in you just get a stirrer and you just stir it around for 10 to 15 seconds and then when you've done that this is the magical bit so here's the other part of the AeroPress. What you do, now remember you've got the uh, coffee here and the hot water is, and the filter has allowed some of the coffee to come through but not all of it. And so now what you do is you absolutely just press down and what happens is, you can guess can't you, that the coffee comes through the filter part there and you just keep pressing down and voila what you have in your mug your coffee mug is a brilliant cup of coffee so as i said because uh, you guys know how much i love thank you sarah because you guys know how much i love my coffee this aeropress has been a lifesaver and it's available on amazon and uh, my friend my british friend bought it in the uk and i'm going to be in the uk next week so i'll be getting more filters so that's it from me there are three must have travel items that have really helped me on my going into my 10th month journey oh look i've got a big tomcat here to join me today i'm ca hello how are you yes, you're a big boy aren't you <laughs> big black and white tomcat i'm currently in vonjan in croatia and i'm uh, there's a quite a famous church cathedral uh, at the back i'll turn you around in a moment so you can have a look perhaps you should have a look at this little this little treasure that's just joined me there he is oh he's quite high. Oops. <laughs> well that wasn't very clever was it where is he can you see him there he is oh yes there he is hiding now who is this strange woman he's saying and i've just realized all i have to do is turn you around so there's the cathedral that i'm talking about there's that beautiful clock tower here and there we go and after i finish this broadcast I'm going to be going over there that's cafe bar 21 and i'll be having one of my cups of coffee there yay oh thank you bonnie that's very sweet of you to say that i have to have add that to the broadcast too <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today if you have the feeling to travel you can make the decision take that step because if you're the sort of person that gets asked this question, okay, you have $10,000, what would you like to do? Have a new kitchen or upgrade your current kitchen or travel? What would you, which one would you choose? It's quite an interesting question because there are those that say, oh, I want a new kitchen or upgrade the kitchen I've got. And there are those that say, who wants a kitchen? I want to travel. So if you're the one that would pick the, the travel option, then you can do it too. I'm doing it solely on an Australian pension. And if I can do it, you can too. Thank you for joining me today. Episode 30. Bye bye from Vonjan, Croatia.